everyone, I hope you're all doing well. As you can see from the title, today I have a very exciting unboxing for you. Many of you have noticed that I do have a watch that I haven't shown you <laughs> and I actually bought this a while ago. I was just avoiding wearing it in my videos but I guess I got lazy and I stopped taking it off and many of you noticed on my Instagram and here on YouTube as well in some of my vlogs. So uh, here it is. I also have a shopping vlog that I will insert in this video. I bought this as I mentioned a while ago so I do have some snippets when I went and tried on some other watches when I was making the big decision what <laughs> to get. So uh, keep watching if you want to see that and also don't forget to come follow me on my Instagram which is this one here where you can see my new purchases, how I style them, some beauty favorites because I love makeup as well so come say hello I'd love to you there as well. Okay let's get started with the vlog portion of this video. <music> So here we go, I'm gonna unbox this with you and here is the box, the Rolex box, it has the beautiful crown, can you guys see it, is it showing? I will definitely insert some close-up footage so you can see everything in detail. Okay, so as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I have had this for a while and I had to put it back in the original packaging. So this is how it comes. Actually, I've never had a proper look at this box before. <laughs> I unboxed it so quickly when I bought this watch and I started wearing it straight away. So I never actually had a proper look at this box, but it is such a beautiful box. It has this beautiful gold crown. Can you guys see? <gasps> it's stunning. All right, enough about the box. I know many of you won't see the watch. So here it is my beautiful baby 
Rolex. <laughs> Let me take it out. And I will also show you what's in the box. So here we have the, is this the price tag? Now they removed the price tag. I guess this is a serial number. Uh, we have the little certificate. Again, I will insert a close up so you can see. Um, and I also have these pair links inside. And also you can open the top of the box like this. And what's in here? Oh, uh, there is a little booklet. I've actually never had a look at this. <laughs> um, but we have a beautiful leather. It's like a card holder with the international guarantee. Also the manual worldwide service little booklet. So that's what's in here. Okay, so that's what's in the box. And here we have... The beauty. So this is the watch I picked up. This is the exact watch that I've been eyeing for a couple of years. This exact size, this exact model. And to be honest, it was a bit difficult to find. And I also had to wait for them to order this for me because it wasn't available anywhere. So they had to order it. Uh, but I'm so, so glad I waited. As you saw, I went and tried on some other models, but this was the one I've always known that this was the one that I wanted to add to my watch collection. So let me tell you the exact specifications and a little bit more about this watch and why I chose it. So this is the Datejust 31mm Rolex and I actually have some notes on my phone because I didn't want to miss anything <laughs> but this is a steel watch as you can see it is steel with yellow gold and I really love this combination of silver and gold it is very typical Rolex it's also perfect for everyday wear but also evening wear because of the bracelet the oyster steel and yellow gold Rolexes are the most popular ones uh, just because they're great everyday watches and my one has the Jubilee bracelet. There are two types of bracelets. There is a oyster bracelet and a Jubilee bracelet. This one looks a bit more like a jewelry piece and I think it is a bit more feminine as well. I find that the oyster bracelet looks a bit more masculine and it suits men really, really well. I know some girls pull it off really well, but to me, this was the best choice and I love the look of it. Also, I find the Jubilee bracelet really supple and comfortable to wear. Um, I've tried on, as I mentioned, a few different models and this I found so, so comfortable on my wrist. It is so recognizable as well. Even if you see a peak of this bracelet, you know it's a Rolex watch. It adds such a beautiful feminine touch to your watch. And I have taken some links off, actually not, I couldn't do it myself, but they did it for me at the store. And I initially had it much tighter and then I went back and asked them to add one link back because I loved it a bit more loose. I think it looks better as well. However, I must say that if you want to stack this watch with other jewelry pieces, other bracelets, I think it would be best if you wear it tighter so it doesn't move too much. I feel that if the watch is very loose and you have other bracelets stacked together with it, it will really scratch the other bracelets quite a lot because it is a bit heavy um, so you wouldn't want it to move too much up and down your wrist. I also have to mention the beautiful crown jubilee hidden clasp which is this hair i will again insert a close-up so you can see better but i believe this one is getting discontinued i don't know why they would discontinue this clasp it is so beautiful it is my favorite the other one scratches quite a lot i'll insert a picture here that's why i didn't want it also i don't find it as beautiful to me this looks so beautiful especially with the jubilee bracelet it is hidden it has a little crown right there and it is so perfect also now that i mentioned scratching i wanted to talk about the scratches because i've had this watch for quite some time now and i've worn it pretty much every single day actually I've worn it every single day apart from two days when I was away at a friend's house I can't see any scratches 
is definitely less visible it scratches less than the full yellow gold models they have a different bracelet so if you go check out the full gold models you can see that the design of the bracelet is different and it will be more visible because it's just full gold so the scratches will be more visible whereas this is steel and gold so you won't notice that as much so i chose the fluted basil which i thought looked very timeless classy it's also also very very signature for Rolex and my one has a gold fluted basil as you can see and I also picked the silver dial it has a beautiful sun ray finish and it creates very delicate light reflections it was actually so so interesting to learn more about the watches because as I mentioned I'm not, I'm not an expert I love watches but I'm definitely not an expert so yeah I picked up the silver dial and also the white and silver dials are the easiest to read that's what they've told me and to be honest it is true <laughs> so I love that also it looks very fresh on this watch it is perfect for every day it's a great everyday looking watch and inside as you can see I also chose mine with the um, yellow gold roman numbers and what is special about this watch is the number six the number six has a cluster of 11 diamonds i thought that was such a beautiful touch this was definitely my favorite face i had a look at so many different ones guys they have so many options you can create your perfect watch online you can go and create your perfect watch you can select the size you can select the uh, basil you can select the numbers inside if you want numbers or if you want um, little lines or little dots of diamonds i think the diamond dots are the most popular ones plus when i thought about the jewelry pieces that i want to buy next from cartier van cleave there are some diamond pieces that i definitely want to add to my collection and i thought that if the watch is too blingy when i stack it with the rest of the pieces that i eventually want to get it will be too much so I would say when picking a watch definitely think of that as well if you're planning to buy more solid gold jewelry pieces maybe um, select a more bling bling <laughs> watch but again it's personal preference you can go full on you can go um, all diamonds basil you can go diamond dots inside with a mother of pearl um, dial next i want to talk about the winding crown which is this bit here this on the side so as you can see there is a little crown there and this is what you use to wind the watch you can change the date or you can self wind it again if it stops working my one only stopped working once because i didn't wear it for two days i think i mentioned earlier in this video i was um, away at my friend's house and i didn't bring my watch so when i came back home it stopped working so it has stopped working only once since i got it because i wear it every single day otherwise but if you don't want it to stop working because it could be a bit of a a bit of an annoying process um, you can buy one of the winding boxes so you can put it in a box you can plug it in the wall and um, that way your watch won't stop working <laughs> you can buy one of those on Amazon they're not very expensive okay I have some more notes about the casing the casing is crystal it is anti-scratch sapphire crystal and it also has a cyclops lens so it zooms in on the date um, so you can see the date a bit more zoomed in um, that's what I've written down so I don't forget and also it is waterproof up to 100 meters so you can do everything with this watch it is very tough and I don't baby it I'm very happy with my choice at the end it was one of the watches that I definitely wanted to add to my collection and oh my god, by the way, I can't believe it has gone up in price so much since I first saw this watch and tried it on a couple of years ago. It must have been, I think I first tried this exact watch in 2016 or 2017. I definitely want to add more watches to my collection. There is another one that I actually wanted to get first for my big special occasion but it turned out there was a huge waiting list for that one and it might take a few years they told me which is insane this 
so happy that I finally ticked off my list. I love it. And I would highly recommend it as well. So if you are looking to buy a Rolex, I think they are beautiful. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the watch? And I hope I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.